Okay, so getting to the next step, we are now going to do a little bit of work just to, um, we're basically we're setting up everything before we start to animate, uh, and then we're going to animate after we've got all the parts of our drawing done correctly. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to start adding some layers to this drawing. In Piscal, it is totally acceptable to, uh, to do all your animation on one layer but it's a lot harder. So if we separate things into layers, especially with a static style animation like we're doing here, it really makes it a lot easier. So what I want you to do is go over to your layers palette here and I want you to click the little plus button which allows you to create a new layer. You notice when I click, uh, when I click it, I get a new layer, it's called layer one, and that my actual drawing I just did fades out. If I click back on it, uh, shows up in full opacity, but if I'm not on it, it just fades it out so I know what I'm currently putting on the layer I've selected. So let's double click on this layer. We're going to call it uh, Mana Potion and make sure to hit return or enter. And we are going to draw the Mana Potion and put it inside this bottle. So Mana Potions uh, traditionally in video games are blue. It's kind of like your magic potion. So we're going to click here and we're going to go down into sort of a nice bluish color. I kind of like this one. That's a nice sort of a little bit glowy looking blue. The hex code is 519 BFF. And I'm going to start doing a little bit of drawing. I'm not going to draw all the way up to the top. Your potion generally wouldn't be totally at the top of the bottle. It's probably, you know, somewhere around here. And I'm just going to draw in the outline here, especially when you're doing larger things. Uh, actually, let's command Z that because that's not what I wanted to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this line right here. Right, I'm going to avoid so you can see where the shadow is right here. And this is important because we want to be able to reference some other things that our potion looks good when we finally make it. So I'm going to make sure I'm only drawing in the lighter blue area, not in the shadow. So I'm going to outline like this, avoiding the shadow. Go up, like that, and we're just gonna knock this all in. Once it's fully um, fully enclosed, paint like a tool to fill it up. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're going to click on our, uh, our color, and we're gonna make it just a little bit darker. And then go in with the pen tool and fill in those areas where our shadows fell on the bottle. That's why having this onion skin is really nice and this layer opacity is so you can see through and you can match the shadows and highlights in your bottle from before. So now we got the, uh, the potion. You'll notice I haven't drawn over the bottle itself. I've only drawn inside. If you look up here in my preview, you can see what it looks like in its entirety, even though here in the main palette, it's just uh, just the potion itself that I'm working on. Um, we're now going to add one last layer and then we're going to be ready to start animating. So once again, let's go up to the create layer button, click once, we're going to double click in there and we're going to call this label and highlights. Click return. We're going to go over here to our colors and we're going to add a couple of, um, elements that we want to essentially sit on the outside of the bottle that will remain visible even while the potion layer itself isn't uh, isn't at or is animating pardon me so let's draw um, kind of a cool little um, star uh, label here um, make it like this da, 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 da. and uh, like that. So this is going to be my um, my label for my mana potion. And we're also going to add just a little highlight here on the top of the bottle and maybe just here on the side too. So what we're going to do is um, now that we've got this label and shine layer done, we don't need to worry about it anymore. We've now created all the basic aspects of our animation.